Hey guys, Freddy here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. We have another episode of our season series here at Ravenport. Just finishing up with our our um, hay baling here at the moment. Just letting the worker do his thing. We've got um, plenty of bales so far. 35 already at the moment. So with this bale we might get another one and hopefully we're going to have plenty of bales for a long time. Just got to wait for um, our straw bales now which shouldn't be too far away once these fields are finished growing and ready to harvest. Definitely come over and work on this oat field first because um, that's where the money's going to be at. That's where the, most of the straw is going to come from. Oh, so close. There we go. Right, turn that off. Let's get rid of this. So I set the course up to windrow and um, collect the bales. And still little bits of hay sort of scattered all over the place, but I'm not too worried about little tiny bits of hay and everything. Um, I'm to put this thing back away. I don't know what we had in there. Sort of need to reorganise things a little bit better. It's supposed to go down here. Good luck put it down here. Um, so with all the hay bales still down in here, we'll need to transport those up and store them up in the other the other area up there. Eventually we might get rid of this. Um, hay barn down here and actually put in like a vehicle, another vehicle storage shed down the bottom here might be a little bit better. Right, so drop the baler off, go and pick up a bale collecting wagon trailer or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so get rid of. Um, this guy out of the way for now. So we've still got tons, tons of um, silage bales. We're going to have a huge amount of straw bales too. I mean, hay bales. That's what we're doing. Making hay while the sun shines. Alright, let's go out and start collecting. It'll take us a little while to get this done, but. Um, it's going to pay off for us in the long run. We're going to have plenty of stuff for our cows. So we've still only got the same amount of cows as before. I haven't brought any more or anything. Paid off a little bit of our loan, as you guys are already aware. Um, reduced it back to just two bulls in the pan. The rest are all females. Still only got one female calf at the moment. Got no new calves or anything. Hopefully, um, soon start to a few more start to arrive these two oh, more of that crop is destroyed there's a bale on the field there which is uh, not going to be easy to get don't have care wheels I wonder if I can reverse back like this sort of target it Give it a bit of a bump. Keep rolling. Oh, you bugger. Oop, there we go. A bit of a bump. I don't want to destroy too much of the crop, that's all. Yeah. Roll. Roll, buddy, roll. There we go. Destroyed a little bit of the crop, hopefully not too much. Is he still rolling? Should be close enough for us to pick him up. I'll go down and grab this guy. I just hope I can find them all because the way that the, the land is, it's quite rough and um, hilly, so there's a good chance we're gonna have a few of them roll away and not actually see where they've actually gone to. So that's another one, another one here. Quickly go and have a look at here, so you can see tomorrow, plenty of rain tomorrow. 
that's one thing I sort of was hoping we'd at least be able to get um at least be able to get these fields harvested but if it's going to start raining it may take a little bit of time for that to happen here he is, it's all the way down here now perfect spot for us to pick him up so as I said we're going to do silage bales on the left hay bales on the right and then maybe some straw bales sort of down the middle I might have to manually put the straw bales in there though because when we go to empty this guy this arm comes out like our arm that picks up the bales so can't get it right against that right hand wall and all the way back probably try and manhandle them a little bit but I guess we'll just wait and see how we go so that's 16 bales 17 and then 18 we might um dump these guys off while we're here because we're already here we can empty our trailer off and then um So let's press Y to get it ready to dump. Need to go right back in that corner. That tractor's probably right in the way there. I'll try and straighten ourselves up a little bit. Just want to make sure they're right over as far as we can get them. Go right back to the wall. Press Y to start unloading. They should start to spit out the back. Push our tractor forward a little bit. Hopefully. Uh, not going to say anything. Not going to say anything. Maybe we're too close to that wall. I don't know. Now yeah, they're sort of just all over the place. So I have to go through it do some stacking I think I'll be better off dumping them outside and then manually putting them in there as I said before do a little bit of um, bale rustling or something still got heaps of bales up here we've still got the other ones down there that I want to bring up as well so plenty of bales to be moved around this guy swing around so I was hoping that we could get this harvest done tomorrow but looking at the forecast the potential forecast it uh, may not happen so let's bump our speed up to time 60 because there's nothing else we can really do until our fields have grown there's no rain at the moment so they're not going to destroy any of these bales bale, let's press F4 quickly, oh, it's a bale here, make sure none of the other ones are sort of run away as well, I'll right, try and grab this one, there's another one just on the field here, so hopefully we can just reach this guy, that driving on the field, there we go, perfect. Right, turn right around, grab these other guys. This one. This guy, I think this is our last one. I think. Press F4 quickly, bit of a look around. Can't see any other bales. Alright, so what I'm going to do is sit this guy here for a second. Um, jump in this guy. These bales are bloody terrible there. Not impressed with that at all. Right, let's whoop. come through, pick this guy up. What I might even do is um, get this bale out of the way. Could I always put our hay bales over here next to our silage ones. Now that I'm going to sort of manually load them in. 
go. So if we unload them all here, I should be able to lift them up and take them in nice and carefully. So what I'm going to do is pick up these guys. So we should be able to pick up three at a time. throw these guys onto here. There we go. Drop these guys down. Oop. Get out of there. Thank you. I should pick that one up as well. That's ready. these guys up. I think it's only going to take two of these though. I think. I don't think it'll get another one. Another row on there. Actually no it will. There you go. So we just need another two for there. That one off, one of them off, there we go. This guy. I guess we could just throw it over here out of the way for now. I want to grab a stack of three left, or just six left. No, just three. I want to grab these three. Take these guys up myself. We'll have to go nice and steady, I think. Let's drop our speed down. Ten quarters an hour. Just limp it up there. Without turning and stuff, it might want to fall off, but well, let's go up to 15 now. We're on, so we're on a straight. Get closer, we'll slow down to 10 again. Just so when we're sort of swinging around. Probably, um, there is another. It's a better fork that we can actually use. But I think it's more for the uh, square bales and the round bales. Oh. Um, see if we can move him out of the way somehow. Oop. Okay, let's just drop them all on the floor then. That'll do. And you guys have probably seen in the past how bad I am at using front loader attachments and all that sort of stuff, so. That guy. See if we can't pick this guy up. Get him back off again. We can pick him back up. Oop. Right. Try and get him off. Something like that, there we go. It's the start of our hay bale section, so let's get this guy over there out of the way. This guy's ready to go and unload them all. We might be able to, so I don't think it's going to reach all the way back um, to the back, but if we can get them in there close enough to press Y now sort of as we get back a little bit closer so we can only go back so far is it going to push it far enough back oh look at that magic 
exactly what we needed. Really didn't think that was going to happen. Oh, they need to be moved over to the left a little bit, but that will work. Now yeah, let's uh, let's go in here and pick up all these other guys. All right, cycle back through to this guy. And these guys going? Still not ready? No, nope, not yet. So they're still still need to be further to the left, but oh, I'm not gonna not gonna worry too much about that, I suppose. Jump in this guy. So he's going to still load them all up. I don't think we'll be able to get all of them. I just have to try and knock them back a little bit. Right, we'll back this guy back out. Jump back into this guy. I have to go and pick him up and sort of throw him on. Hopefully we can stack them in front of the other ones. We'll be good. I think we're going to get a huge amount of straw bales. Just trying to get this guy off. Come on. There we go. We should have left myself a little bit more room to work, but... Get both of you. Ah, not really. Alright, try and throw that guy off as well. Come on, there we go. Better if we could pick up more than one at a time. We might be able to get a couple when we get to these last three. The last two rows, even. A bit of night time, night time bailing. That was <laughs> nowhere near where we wanted to go. Right, might be able to get this guy in a better spot. There we go. We can pick up these guys clean enough. Might be able to just take these guys straight over. If I can. Get in there like that, there we go. Try and go nice and steady. Swing them around. Trying to bang them off the wall. Bloody hell. Try not to bang them off the wall, and what do I do? Oh. Bang them off the wall. That's it. These guys can just go over here now. Get off. There we go. Bloody terrible. Oop. Wasn't even close. I'll pick this guy up. He could. Ah, autumn's arrived. It's beautiful. Oop, we're in a little bit of debt again. The bank will be ringing us any time today. Working out what the hell's going on. Letting us know that uh, we owe them money and they want it. Typical bloody banks, I suppose. Right, let's dump this guy off. Try and do a better job getting this, these three guys in. Should be better. I'll right, just try not to hit the wall this time. I 
I'd rather be using. Uh oh, I'd rather be using square bales too, rather than these round ones. I'm sure if these bales will start to like, disintegrate or disappear with the weather. So let's grab you. Grab this other one that we've missed. Put this guy away. I think we're gonna they're gonna hang out a little bit, but we should be able to hopefully. Right, let's try and get a little bit closer to that wall. Not too close, of course. Start to unload. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Awesome. So now we've got the whole other side for straw bales. This whole side here for our hay bales. Quick screenshot. Okay, let's bump the speed right up now because there's really not much else we can do at this point in time. So wait for our crops to grow and wait for them to dry enough so we can actually harvest them. I'm just shut you down there. Certainly coming down at the moment, isn't it? Actually, one thing I want to do is check on this. Oh, it still says 4,000 litres, so... I don't think the rain's affected it, but these guys sort of need to move over a little bit. we will probably get another row in the middle there. We had them over far enough, but... It doesn't matter too much at the moment. So I'd much rather use square bales. It's so much easier. Dump this guy off. Let's quickly look at um, our animals. Water, straw, cleanliness is terrible. Um, Alright, let's have a look at cleanliness. I know it's cheating a little bit, but don't have enough money. There we go. It's the easiest way for me to make it clean again. Let's do that. Oh, I think we should be good with food and stuff. I know. Probably do want some grass. Just normal grass. Uh, where are they again? Here. So they do want a little bit of grass. Water and straw. So I'm not a fan of... I mean, I like those pumps, but... I'd rather it keep it bloody full than keep it at you know, a quarter full. Just don't see the point. Alright, so let's park this guy up. The other thing I want to do is come back into here. Go to these guys. There's not really anywhere else we can put this. Like a light. I'd like a light. Like here somewhere, but I don't know. Let's maybe put one, say, here. Put another one here. That'll help brighten the area up a little bit. Obviously, when it's night time, those guys aren't even turned on. Have to turn our own light on. So these guys, if we could move them over a bit, should be able to get four rows of bales in here. That should be pretty good. Um, keep an eye on these guys. Health is still 88%. Hopefully that goes back up again. So we run back down. Um, how are these guys? He's ready to harvest, but unfortunately, it's too wet. There's one of our, oh, so that's one of our bulls, but only these are the brown guys are bulls. 
So these ones aren't bulls, but they've got the horns, so they really need to change that. Um, the Airshires are $1,000 each, not worth a great deal. So the baby one is worth $327. These guys are still worth $4,500. Quick look at pricing. Yeah, see, so not too bad a price. I think it's these two that we've got, haven't we? Yeah, so they've dropped a little bit in price, but um, how are we for milk? 331 litres, so not much, but we're certainly pumping out some slurry and some manure, so hopefully we can look at that as far as um, using that sort of stuff on our fields. So now it's just a, another waiting game, really. I like waiting for this guy to be ready to harvest. Waiting for this other guy to be ready to harvest, but waiting for this rain to go away, which should be anytime soon. 54% moisture, so wow. Might get it done this afternoon if this dries quick enough, but then it's a bit more rain again tonight. So let's hope. Let's hope that um, we can get this harvested today or next episode. Um, let's bring up our grass again. It's already ready to mow again. We don't really need to mow it again though. We've got plenty of hay bales, plenty of silage bales. Um, yeah, we don't really need to mow it again at this point in time. Sort of just let it grow, I guess, and go from there. So let's um, let's paint this area here with grass texture because it's not not painted yet. Um, well, this area should be okay. Part of it. I think we missed a little bits in there. It's not too bad. There we go. All right, so still waiting for, pretty much waiting for the crops to grow. So that's that's fertilised. This isn't. Well, it is still the same level one. So we can't really fertilise it again until we either plant it and it sort of grows through the next stage. I thought maybe every day we could fertilise, even if it if there was um, no crops on there. But at this point in time, we can't. So right here, guys. What I'll do is I'll um, end the episode here. Time is not far off going off. Um, we'll come back next episode and hopefully harvest this field here, even harvest our big oat field up the top here. Organise some straw bales, which are going to go in this side. So we're going to have this side, hopefully, chockers of straw bales. Um, these hay bales. So I'd like to I'd like to be able to move all these guys over, but I realise how much drama that's going to be to try and move them over to the wall now. It's going to be bloody painful. Um, Long term, I'd really like to go into here um, and grab, what was it, this guy, the square baler. Then it's just so slow having to, to square bale and wrap at the same time. Like these guys auto wraps, this guy doesn't. This guy's just a round baler. So if we could get a square baler with an auto wrapper on the back, that would be bloody outstanding. But um, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the series so far, if you want to see it continue, all that good stuff. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno, thanks for watching. See you again soon.